Hello everybody, my name is Per Tellen, as I said, I'm head of business development at HEG. Who is typing this? Well, can you type your name here please, so I know who you are? Give me your name. Give him a round of applause, this is fantastic, isn't it? Um, yes, I'm uh, actually having my first uh, anniversary in this business. I'm quite new here. Uh, I started exactly 12 months ago, on the 3rd of October 9, uh, 2013. Um, I come from media, so it's a different side, uh, and I will try to give you some reflections that I have had during the, the, this year that I've been here. So. Um, if you don't agree, don't agree, uh, but it is my, my point of view anyway to, um, to explain what I have seen so far. And the first reflection is that we in this business have the best combination that can be between a sport and gambling. Couldn't be better. Uh, if we only could sort of um, lower the entrance a little bit or make it bigger um, to make it easier for, for new customers coming in, that would help a lot. But we have the most exciting experience. Uh, and as proof to that, we had this um, survey in Sweden just a couple of months ago, where they said that um, th the question asked to about uh, 2,000 gamblers, which company do you think have got the best uh, experience ex and exciting products? And uh, the answer was ATG. So we have the best products and most exciting products. Please remember that. My second finding is that a lot of the things that we have around us seems to be designed in the early 1970s. Um, I think you agree, and we have heard some really good examples of how we can change that in the future, but I think it's really important that we, we start with that, because the, the, the tracks are quite old, uh, the, the sport itself uh, needs to be developed, and not the least, uh, the TV productions needs to be much, much better in the future. And that's, that's what I'm here for to explain for you, so um, I will come back to that uh, soon. Uh, I just arrived as an ex example on what uh, Richard said earlier uh, about the Hong Kong Jockey Club. Uh, I just came back from, from Las Vegas last night, um, and it was always an interesting feeling to be there because it's, it's sort of the, the mother of concepts, Las Vegas and, and Disney, that, that's the mother of, uh, and father of, of all the concepts. And, and I listened to one interesting speaker there who was Steve Wynn. He is the mastermind be behind the, the new strip. They had some problems 30 years ago, but he is the mastermind behind the new strip where they built these enormous big hotels. Uh, he's the man behind uh, Bellagio, uh, Treasure Island, Le Mirage, um, and most recently, Wynn Hotel, and he built another one, he called it Anchor, which is of course called Anchor in the States. Um, but um, he said that, which was really important and interesting, I think, people don't go to Las Vegas to gamble anymore, that's not the reason, because we have a big country, but wherever you're stated in, in the United States, you have no more than one and a half hour going to a slot machine or to a poker table or to a roulette. So that's not it. And a poker table, it's just a table with some squares on, and a roulette table is just a table with some squares on, other ones, and uh, some kind of a carousel rotating in the middle. So that's not what's driving people to Las Vegas. It's the experience. And that's why they not build hotels anymore, they build resorts. They have these huge theaters, they have, uh, the golf course just outside the, the front door. They have, um, of course, all the gambling, but they have uh, big pool areas and they have shopping malls with, uh, with uh, Cachi or Cloué or Prada or whatever it is. So they're building something else. And that's really interesting to see that uh, the Hong Kong Jockey Club is going in that direction. I think that we must invest in the future to make the experience much, much better. Uh, the problem is right now that I can't really influence that so much, uh, but one thing that I can influence is uh, how the TV productions are, at least in our country and around our products. I come from the media business. I um, used to work for a media company called MTG, which at least when it's called about the letters, it's close to ATG, but MTG. And we um, 
I was uh, of the company. They had the commercial TV channels. They had pay TV channels. They worked as an operator, uh, broadcasting TV channels to households. And I was in charge of uh, some of our channels, uh, among others, the, um, the sport channels. We had eight of them. So I have been lucky to work with some of the biggest TV rights um, that is in the world, like Champions League, Premier League, Formula One. NFL, NBA, uh, all the golf in the world, European Tour, PGA Tour, etc. Et so I know what kind of impact uh, good sports production has. And it's really interesting to, to see when a big TV sport becomes even bigger thanks to better broadcasting and better technology behind um, the productions. And there are also many good examples on how um, some products or some, some TV rights or some sports that has been quite dull and boring in the future suddenly blooms when the technology takes over. Uh, one example is um, uh, biathlon. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's uh, cross-country skiing and you have a gun on the back of your... Uh, on the back of your... and then you, uh, you ski for a while and then you go down and shoot and try to, to hit some targets and if you're lucky and hit them, then you don't need to, to skate so much more, which you would have to do otherwise. And that was a quite dull sport before, but suddenly when the, the technician came uh, into that sport, something uh, dramatically happened. So now in Sweden, for instance, they have the best viewing figures of all sports. And, uh, and they, one thing that is also ex uh, interesting is what uh, Jason uh, described for us before, having this uh, cooperation with Fox. Um, from, from uh, the US Jockey Club, that if you do good TV productions, that will not take spectators away from the arenas or the events. It will bring them to them, because the problem now is not that we broadcast. We broadcast a lot, and, but the problem is that the productions are not good enough. That's uh, how I see it anyway. And the thing is today that I read a survey from the States saying that uh, there are the, the media consumer, they give us about eight seconds before they make up their mind if this is something good or if this is something bad. And then it might take a year or two until they give us a new chance. So this is something that we really, really need to work on. Um, so what I will show you now, uh, as said, I'm the head of business development, which puts a lot of interesting things on the table. But what I will focus on, and what ATG will focus on the next 12 months, will be uh, doing our TV productions and, of course, web productions much better than they are today, because we think that that will be a game changer to us. So uh, I asked my team back home to put um, a little piece of video footages together, and I want to show you this, and hopefully you see what we are after. And if you like it, please give us a, a round of applause afterwards, otherwise boo, or whatever. But uh, give me some kind of reaction. I think this is what we will do anyway. And if, if you think it's good, and when we have done our job, I will be more than happy to, uh, to come to you and give you some best cases and help you to maybe do a bit more about your TV productions as well. Please roll the tape. 